Hello, my name is Bernie Casey, and yes, I'm a Kairos graduate. The Kairos weekend was really a turning point in my return to the Christian faith and just embracing, you know, all the tenets of the faith and and communing with Christ and uh, just that weekend, it, it just the presence of the Holy Spirit was so great that it was unmistakable and. I actually found myself during the course of that weekend thanking God that I was in prison because I recognized that had I continued on the path I was on, um, you know, perhaps, you know, I never would have um, found my Lord and Savior, rediscovered my Lord and Savior. And uh, the one presence that was very instrumental in that and in making that a reality was the yard pastors, the presence of a pastor on the yard. Uh, on a daily basis, and ultimately, uh, you know, I found myself on back in the free world, able to uh, reintegrate to society, uh, you know, with Christ in my heart, and a fellowship in the community that welcomed me back. First of all, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Brother Fred. I, I'm a youth pastor today, but I thank God for having the opportunity to be able to come, to come before you and to give a live testimony of what God has done in my life. Kairos ended up being something that ended up changing my life around. Kairos was something that impacted my life. Now, let me go back to something. Before I get into the story, I would like to say this. I was a known gang member. I used to run with a guy named Tookie Williams. I used to be one of Tookie Williams' uh, generals in the Crip Gang in Compton. That's where I was originally born and raised in Compton, California. Thank God for the pastors. I thank God for the, the pastors who were the inside because they showed that love that we never had before. Uh, when I was there, I had a couple of friends that uh, they didn't get no visits from no one. Uh, they didn't have no family members. But to be able to come to Cairo, it was like a whole different dimension. It was like another family. It was like a family of God. That's something that I cannot explain to you, something that you have to participate in, something that you would have to go and see for yourself. Our job is to be a vessel for God, and our job is to share with them what God is doing on our lives today to impact their lives today. So I'm very thankful today to be able to come before you. I'm very thankful today to let you know that not only that God is real, but that he will move in your life also. And I just want to let you know that God is good. Amen. My name is Ron Zitch, and uh, I'd like to talk to you today a little bit about my experience uh, with pastors to prison in Cairo. I was, you know, uh, grew up um, using and abusing drugs and alcohol from a very young age, and uh, um, grew up in a home that was, uh, we, in, in name, uh, my parents went to, uh, to church. And so I, I believed that there was a God, but never had a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And, over the years, uh, you know, just got further and further into my addiction. I grew up in a very abusive uh, home, verbally and uh, um, emotionally abusive family. So uh, really didn't have uh, what you would call a healthy, normal uh, family relationship. So as a result, you know, I just turned to using drugs and alcohol as a, a way of escape to come and uh, experience what is called a uh, um, Kairos, which is a word, a Greek word that means God's time, God's special time. And, and you know, it says in uh, Galatians 4, 4, that God sent his son born of, of a woman, born under the law, to redeem those who are all their lifetime under the law. And so um, it, 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 it was an opportunity for us to be uh, God's hands and feet and, uh, you know, and just see how the body works um, according to what it talks about in Corinthians, you know, the body has many members and many parts 
and you know the the eye can use the hand and the feet and the arm and you know uh, you could really see the inner working of how uh, God uses his people to do the work of ministry and uh, to me um, which really was Kairos was God's heart his, his love for people he, he says he's not willing that any should perish but all to come to repentance and you know uh, God is a he's personal you know uh, that's why they say it's a personal relationship and um, you know if you believe in your heart you know it, it, it's something that starts in your heart so um, God uses people to share his message for uh, the Mexican Mafia so you know just God used all these different things to show how much he loved and cared for people and that's really um, the heart and soul of what I got out of the Kairos program is how much what kind of extreme measures God would go to share of the love gift of his son and uh, having people from the Kairos come in and share that kind of love with uh, the men behind prison prison walls.